All right, guys, Black here. I was watching something yesterday or the day before, and I found out about an oil that I didn't know exists. The oil is called Zero W16. And I heard that Toyota and Honda uses this oil. So I went to Walmart looking for some Zero W30, Zero W16. This I got from Toyota dealership. The low, closest I found was 0W20. Is there a difference between 0W20 and 0W16? Well, the 0, I actually, I bought a quart of Supertech 0W20. And I poured it out in my usual fashion, but I didn't like the video. So I decided to make another one. Believe it or not, the oil seemed about the same. I was expecting the Super Tech to be lighter and thinner, but it wasn't. It was slightly thicker and it, it, it looked damn near the same color. Now it did have bubbles, because I poured it into a glass, it did have bubbles. The Toyota did not have bubbles. Now, the Super Tech, I think, was $3 and something, or $4 and something, something like that. And how, this was only $7 at the Toyota dealership. I was surprised. I was expecting it to be about $9 or $12 or something like that. Now, the Toyota oil smells different from the Super Tech. Super Tech actually smells like oil. The Toyota smells like almost like it's got a little bit of starting fluid in it. You know, it's got a more sophisticated smell, if there's a such thing as that. But um, you know, the question is this. I've watched some videos of people talking about they're not gonna use it, they wouldn't use it, the oil is too thin, and Toyota just wants you to mess up your motor so you can come back and get another one. Come on, man, get off that. You know, some years ago, I remember when 5W30 came out, my father said the same thing. You know, man, I'm not putting that oil in my car. It's too thin. It's too thin. It ain't going to last long. It's like water. That was 5W30. I can't tell you when it was. Probably, I don't, I can't tell you when it was. But um, anyway, like I said, and now 5W30 is considered thick oil compared to all this new stuff like 0W16. Honestly, guys, if I went out and bought a brand new Toyota and this is what it required, I would be getting oil from the Toyota place. Now, why would I get Toyota oil? Some people say, Black, Toyota just take some oil from such and such and put their name on it. I don't think so. Now, I can't say from looking at the oil, I can't say from smelling the oil that it's a better oil, but it does smell completely different from the 5W20 Super Tech. Even though it looks almost alike, it smells different. But again, if I bought a new Toyota or I knew anybody who bought a new Toyota, I would tell them to only put Toyota oil in there. No, I'm not saying you'll mess up your engine by using Motocraft or not Motocraft, but Mobile One full synthetic or any other full synthetic. I'm just saying if you really want your engine, what is it something special in this oil that helped the engine last? Maybe, maybe not. But again, if you really want your Toyota last, put the Toyota oil in there. You know, I mean, that's one less thing you have to worry about. I mean, because think about it. There may be something in this oil that's designed to help your engine last long. You know, there's, I did some reading. I only saw this once. I tried to go back and find it again. I can't find it. This guy was talking about there was some kind of additive in BMW oil 
that was supposed to make that V10 M5, it was supposed to protect the bearings. Okay, a lot of people when they bought the BMW, they didn't want to spend all that money for the BMW oil. So they put Mobile One or whoever kind of oil they wanted in there, thinking that they was, you know, getting by. But he was saying that there was some kind of special additive in that BMW oil that was supposed to protect those special made bearings in that BMW. And people who did not use BMW oil or people who just went too long before changing it, it wiped off the special coating and that's the reason why the bearings went bad. Now, anybody who watched any of my videos, they know I can't stand additives. I don't believe in additives. But there's one additive I have 100% belief in. And it's not an oil additive. It was actually re -in. Now, when I had my 96 Tahoe, okay, I decided to change the oil and re -in, And I think, I don't forget where, but somewhere I read it, it used a special additive that you had to put in the gear oil, okay? I went to GM. I bought this additive. It came in a little small shampoo sampler size bottle. And you pour it into your gear oil and you pump your gear oil into the re-end. Now, what made me change? The first time I changed, I just changed it because I, it probably had never been changed. Okay, whenever it rained, I spin around, I spin wheels, I do no dunks or whatever. And after, I don't know, putting 50 or 60,000 miles, I don't remember. One day I was spinning around in the rain and when I was done, I went to make a left or right turn and you could feel the re-end grabbing. And it just kept on doing that. So I was afraid that I was going to tear the re-end up and I figured that maybe that additive had worn out. So I changed the gear oil, went to the Chevrolet place, bought another tool with that additive, put it in, it went away. Okay? That's the one additive that I actually believe in. I have no other belief in any other additive. But... Anyway, I mean, it's your car. You do what you want. If you want to put Penzoil, Mobile One, Super Tech, or whatever kind of oil in your Toyota Corolla or Camry, whatever, it's your car. Do what you want. But if I bought a brand new Toyota, this is what I'll put in there. Dre, y'all have a good day. Bye.